Hi, I'm Diana and Nesby from SMA at the Global High School Bandung are back again to share another environmental issues. We know that sustainable city development can influence the welfare of its residents. Coupled with the ongoing mobility of the population, making big cities a utopia to start new journey. But then again, can urban life really support our well-being? Without waiting any longer, let's talk about slum areas! Bandung is one of the major cities of Indonesia. According to the Central Bureau of Statistics, Bandung is the third largest city in West Java province with a population of 3,831,505 in 2020. Looking around this city, there are some areas that are not suitable for living, but people still live there. This is a slum area. A slum is an area characterized by poor building and a physical state of disrepair, degrade environment and sanitary condition, and absence of basic and essential facilities. The residents are mostly people who migrate from villages to cities, and many of them are workers. Poor finance and growing needs lead to emotional instability that leads to demoralization and criminal activities on the rise in slum. Bandung city still has 717 hectares of slums spread over multiple locations. Other characteristics of slums include very dense housing with narrow and difficult to pass streets, as seen in various slums in Bandung. Improper urban planning can create slum area. Urban spatial planning must take into account the inhabitants of different areas of the city. The creation of various public facilities such as school, hospital, bank, and market must be carefully considered and developed. However, rapid population mobility can undermine otherwise adequate urban planning. Urbanization is considered to be the lead factor that makes Bandung obtain the title of the largest slum city. Well, considering how many people come to this city to work and live here. However, some people are unable to survive. Combined with the high cost of living in the city, make it hard for them and force them to live in slum area. Slums that continue to exist in urban area create an inadequate social environment for people. When the economy slums, people in slums fall into economic disparity, which can hinder the development of community human resources in the area and by extension, the city as a whole. So, what can we do? It seems difficult to reduce slum areas without government support. Well then, we need to urge the government to implement policies that support design and sustainable housing. Furthermore, people in slum areas need to be included in urban planning and development processes. It is hoped that through consultation, the people in slum areas will be able to express their wishes. We also know that slum areas are dominated by people from lower to middle class. Therefore, anti-poverty programs that provide basic necessities and social assistance are important to deal with the problem of poverty. Slum area must be dealt as soon as possible because it has negative impact to surrounding environment. So we hope that the government deals with this phenomenon more seriously. Uh, that's all from us. See you, See you in, in Gyeongsang!